All right, in the last video, I set up the themes for you. You know, I showed you how to set up this uh, right here. And now we are going to start with the connection to the database. We are going to go to the Drizzle documentation because we are not going to be using Prisma. It's pretty good, helps you with a lot of stuff. And setting it up right now, it's pretty, it's not very well documented. So, you know, I've done a lot of, I put in a lot of time to figure out how do this works. So, yeah. All right. Um, so we are going to move ahead. We are going to copy this right here. We are going to paste it in our app. To go here, we are going to exit it. We are going to paste it. We are going to install what we need to install to get this working. It's going to be resolving those packages and doing everything for us. Uh, till that is happening, we can uh, copy this right here. We can take it to our own folder. We are going to create uh, in the lib. We are going to create a db. No, we are going to create a new db folder. Let's do that. So we're going to create a new db folder in which there will be index. So db slash index dot yes. Over here, let's post everything like it tells us to. It tells us to. Uh, but we are missing this right now. And this and now we can go ahead and look at how to set up Postgres uh, in our with next auth. So we in Brazil is done. Now we should go to the auth JS documentation and check out how do we do that. So we are going to use the new Drizzle adapter. Uh, the documentation is right here for Postgres. So I'm just going to copy it. This is the schema for it. So I'm going to go to DB. I'm going to create another file schema.ts and I'm going to paste it right here. As you can see right now, we have an error because we don't have this installed. So let's install that. And expected error Do we don't have this? Let's go here. All right. So apparently we don't. So we'll copy it. We'll paste it right here. And let's. All right. So now that works. And our errors are gone. This is the uh, schema that next auth recommends us to use. This is not, I'm not doing this on my own. I'm just using, I'm just reading the docs just like you would. But it's a nice introduction, I guess. So we are going to go there. We are going to check out the setup. The setup is right here. MySQL, we're going to go ahead. And now we are going to not worry about our schemas anymore. The next step is to add a few scripts to our schema. I'm going to copy it uh, where, from where I have it already. And um, before that, before we copy that, we have to create a the Drizzle config file. Before I forget, we're going to add drizzle.config.ts in the divine that and uh, I'm going to get this out and paste it here I'll explain what this is this is the default um, configuration for my drizzle usage in this application so drizzle knows what my driver is where my schema is coming from what the connection string is and where to put the migration files now these migration files are SQL files that drizzle is going to use to interact with our Postgres uh, database that is running on serverless. Great, right? So uh, I'm going to save that right here. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to explain you what those scripts did. The first script that we will have to learn, uh, the first script will generate the SQL files that will be used to interact with the database. So let's try and run that. Let's see if that works. Yarn, uh, db, now this is going to fail and this is not going to fail this is going to run but we have to add something to the end of our this thing but it's not going to work because it requires something like ssl mode require uh, before without which it just doesn't seem to want to work so i'm going to generate the files now i'm going to do that this is generating my sql okay this is another thing that we have to deal with we have to this is says transforming cons to configure target is not supported yet. So you have to go to TS config right here and you have to change ES5 to ES6. All right. And now run that again. And let's hope that it works. And it works. So if you go to the SQL file and check out uh, what is here. So it just creates SQL to interact with our database. That's it. Okay. I'm just going to show you how to create a new uh, thing. So I'm going to create a project right here. It's a pretty little button. I don't know why that is. I'm going to write threads. And yeah, all right. We'll select the closest server to me. 
and we'll go ahead and then we'll enable pool connection. We'll copy it from here. And over here, we'll, uh, instead of neon DB, we'll be using our own name. Uh, let's just use the default name neon DB. And after this, we'll be using SSL equals to true. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to dot env. I'm going to have to delete it anyways. So I'll just do it right now. SSL mode require save it. And then I'm going to be on the push. So this database right now, it's empty. It doesn't have anything as you might notice here. Table zero. Let's uh, generate it. We've already generated it. So it won't do anything. It just doesn't do anything. And now we will push it. We'll push the changes. And hopefully this works. And the changes have been applied. If we refresh the table right now. And the changes have been applied. So, uh, now that our changes have been in, uh, applied to our database, now we can basically start setting up auth for our app. 